Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another memory spread for you guys and it's for the week of January 14th through January 20th and this is the week of my boyfriend's birthday. His birthday was on Saturday the 19th and so I have a kit for this week that really reminds me of him. Um, this kit I picked up from Queen City Studio I believe. I will link her shop name down below as I usually do and um, I found this on Etsy. I was trying to look for like a space themed or a stars themed kit because he is very into space and so um, when I found this I just thought it was so perfect especially with these darker colors um, it really reminds me of him and the quote box here says look at the stars look how they shine for you and I believe that is a cold play lyric and then on the second page we have all of the functional boxes and a weekend banner here we've got the um, headers and the little things and then we have some uh, the bottom washi and some washi strips at the top and on this last page, we have lots of other functional items. We've got text stickers, we have canceled stickers, flags, bill due, um, a set of date covers. We have a full box here and some more washi strips over here. We have two sidebar trackers and then some little functional icons. So definitely um, quite a lot of stickers to work with. I do notice that the only thing it's missing is a Monday through Sunday box. So I'll um, just look through my collection to see if I can find anything that works. And if not, I'll just pull in um, some hard checklists to make it work. Um, so anyways, I would like to go ahead and get started. I don't really have um, really anything else that I wanna pull in at this time. I think I'm just gonna kind of play by ear and see how it goes. In addition to the bottom washi that came with the kit, I also decided to pull in a washi that I found in my collection. I bought it as a washi sampler so I don't have the whole roll, but I believe it came from Michaels and it's this like thicker blue washi that has um, Love You written on it in gold foil and I just thought that was so cute and so perfect to pull in for this spread since it is my boyfriend's birthday week. And I just ripped a couple pieces of that washi and stuck it there at the bottom and I really like how that turned out. I put down the quote box in the top corner and then I found some date covers from Simply Watercolor Co. that I decided to use for this week. Um, these ones are gold foiled and I thought that darker color worked well with the kit. I also placed down the flags in the top corner um, to cover the flags of my Erin Condren planner. Then I continue with my sidebar and I first put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. Um, that habit tracker is from the kit and I use that to mark working out, which is something I track every single week. And um, then I found this heart checklist from Hello Petite Paper. It was like a leftovers from a kit that I used before. And uh, at the bottom, I put down another heart checklist to mark my dinners. Oh, I forgot to mention that Happy Moment script sticker is from Paper and Milk, but I'm not sure that she sells that anymore. Um, I feel like I haven't seen it in her shop recently. I then switched the color of the heart checklist, and then before moving to Monday, I decided to add a gold foil heart from White Deer Stationery next to the Happy Moment sticker. I placed down a glitter header at the top of Monday, that's from Mandy Dreams, and then I realized that I forgot to put down the date dots, so I went back and um, put those all in. Those ones are also from Simply Watercolor Co. and came with the date covers. Now I'm moving back to Monday and I am reminded that this was a super rainy week down here in Southern California, which was really rare. Um, I think it rained all of Monday through Thursday, like pouring rain. And again, we just don't get that very often. So um, I used a quarter box with the rain sticker from Adorably Amy Designs. And then I put down a coffee cup from Mandy Dreams with a Coffee Monday sticker to mark that I got my usual coffee fix on Monday morning. I then used a Today header with a half box. Um, that packing moving box sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I did have to unpack and reorganize my office again. And um, I then realized that I wanted to pull in more gold foil in this spread. And I have some gold foiled um, this week's script stickers from Magic Prince Co. So I decided to stick that in my sidebar. At the bottom of Monday, I put down a full box and then I moved back to the middle section. I used a little things with a gold foil icon from Planning World to mark that I stopped by the grocery store really quick before I got home. And then I did work out on Monday uh, when I went home. So I used a flag from the kit as a little background because there was like a lot of white space. And then that workout girl sticker is from Paper Princess Plans. And you might be able to hear it in my voice, but I'm a little congested today. Um, I am recovering from a cold, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. And then at the bottom of the full box, I used a film gold foil sticker from Magic Prince Co. along with a laptop from Sticker Blush. 
At the top of Tuesday, I started with a today header. And again, like I mentioned, it was raining on Tuesday. So I pulled out this rainy day mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi. And I think it's so cute. So I was really excited to pull that in. And then I put down a full box underneath that. The meeting script sticker is from, I believe it's from Nightingale Paper Co. And then I used a gold foil IEP sticker from Jador Planning to mark that I had an IEP that afternoon. Um, and then above that to mark another meeting that I had, I just put down a little things and wrote in the meeting on top of that. I wanted to remember that I had to make a call that afternoon and I just happened to have this really cute phone sticker left over from a, um, a kit from the Giving Girl so I wanted to pull that in and uh, underneath that I put down a half box with a gold foiled um, PO box like mail sticker because I did go and check my happy mail on that day and I had gotten a ton of stuff which is exciting. That brush lettering pen I'm using is a Tombow Fudunosuke. I did work out that day when I got home, so I used a shoe sticker from uh, what used to be Planning in Mint, and it's Bloom Paper Studio, I believe now. And then at the bottom of the day, I did some filming, so I put down a washi strip, and the film sticker is from Love Shira. Originally, the, um, the camera was on the left-hand side, so I just cut it apart and then moved it to the right so that the icon was on the right side, which is where I wanted it. On Wednesday, I wanted to mark the rain again. I was getting pretty tired of the rain at this point. And then um, anyways, in the morning, I did have to get gas. So I put that on a um, on a washi strip with a car icon from Planning World. And then initially, I used an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. But later on, I realized that that actually wasn't an IEP sticker. So I did remove that. Um, I moved to the bottom of Tuesday because I realized that I forgot to um, put down a glitter header on Tuesday. And I whited out the workout sticker but instead of writing over the whiteout I actually cut out a piece of sticker paper from like the corner of the sheet and I stuck it onto the paper unfortunately my camera like ran out of batteries and I didn't realize so when I rewrote it it got cut out but anyways I'm just shifting all the stickers down a little bit so I can make room for a glitter header Moving back to Wednesday, like I mentioned, I removed that IEP flag. I put down a, um, a half box with a bow paperclip sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark the meeting that I had. After work that day, I went to go get my boyfriend's birthday present. We actually don't really do presents. It's not like a big thing between us, but at some point he had mentioned that he wanted new rainbow sandals. So I figured I might as well go pick some up for him as a little gift. And the um, shopping bag sticker is from Paper and Milk. The pen that I'm using there is a Pilot brush lettering pen, and um, it doesn't have a whole lot of other info on it in English, so I'm just gonna link it down below if you're interested to um, see what it is. I then put down a full box and um, I wanted to mark that I did some groceries. Um, I found this little grocery icon in my leftover stash. I can't remember which shop that is from, but it's super cute. And then I also had this like groceries tech sticker from, I think it was a leftover from like a Let's Planet kit that I used. So I also put that on the full box. I then worked backwards because I wanted to see how much space I had left. So I used a gold foil TV icon from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we watched uh, Marie Kondo and a show called Sex Education, which is super good. It's on Netflix. Highly recommend it. And um, in the remaining space, I put down a quarter box with a glitter header. And then the noodle sticker I put down is from Sweet Ava's Paper. On Thursday, I first started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and like I mentioned, it was raining again on Thursday, so I pulled out another rainy sticker from uh, Mochi Kichi to mark that, and because that full box is so dark at the top, I used my white uh, Jelly Roll 08 Sakura pen to write over that, and it totally helps it stand out, and then the meeting sticker again is from Nightingale Paper Co. I then put down two arrow gold foil stickers from Magic Prince Co. to mark meetings that I had. Unfortunately, because because I think the um, paper is glossy. My pen did smear on it. Also, I think I had put like the wrong time and so I had to switch things around. Um, but anyways, it all worked out in the end. I didn't mind the smear so much. Underneath that, I used a quarter box with a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that it was our six and a half year anniversary. And then when I got home, I did work out that day. So I put down a shoe sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. So for the rest of Thursday, I sort of decided to work backwards because I wanted to see how much space I had to mark everything that I wanted. Um, so at the very bottom, I used a little things to mark that I slept early. Above that, I put a half box to mark our date night. And then above that, I used a gold foiled um, laptop icon to mark that I FaceTime my parents. 
So on Thursday, while my boyfriend and I were walking to date night, um, it was kind of raining and when we crossed the street, there was a car that was turning right and he didn't see us. So he totally hit me while we were walking across the street and it was really, really scary. I'm totally fine, luckily. Like I just walked away with like a couple bruises and kind of like a sore arm the next day, but luckily that was like all that I got. And so I, you know, simultaneously feel both lucky and really unlucky for being in that situation in the first place. But anyways, the driver was really apologetic apologetic of course he was freaked out because he honestly didn't see us with like the rain and everything um and luckily he wasn't going very fast so I was okay but anyways to mark that situation I used a car sticker from Hazel sticker and then that emoji from the coffee monsters co which I felt like perfectly kind of sums up how the whole situation went down then uh, I moved to the half box and I put down a beer sticker from sunset sticker co to mark that we did go back out to date night after we were sure that I was fine and this time we did drive out instead and I had a really large beer following the incident. On Friday, I started by putting down a Today header and then I used a quarter box with like kind of a crying girl from Artbox stickers to mark that my arm was really sore on Friday. It was like a struggle to put on my sweater because I could barely lift it 45 degrees, but I managed and I still went to work because I had so much work to get done. I couldn't really afford to miss a day. Um, but anyways, then I put down a gold foil coffee cup and that is from, I think that's from student planning. And originally I had just put it on my planner, but I decided to add a background to it. So I added like a washi strip. Um, then I used a pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3 to mark a meeting that I had in the morning. I then put down a glitter header with a little things to mark that I had to schedule a doctor's appointment. I did kind of want to get everything checked out to make sure I was fine. And so um, I did have to call them to schedule that appointment. At the bottom of the day, I put down a full box and then in the space in the middle, I used a half box with like a Buddy the Unicorn sticker from Ruby Trev to mark that I was feeling pretty dead by the end of the day because I had a super busy day at work on top of having my arm that was like super sore and uncomfortable. I put down a little things on top of the full box and then pulled in a gold foil grocery icon from Planning World to mark that I did some groceries. And then we ordered pizza that night, which was super nice. I didn't want to cook. We just wanted to like relax. So we had some pizza and beer. And then we watched more of sex education that night, which was super good. Like I said, um, that gold foil TV icon is from Magic Prince Co. I messed up my writing at the top of the full box because the pen that I used just totally like exploded on me a little bit. And so um, there wasn't really anything I could do in the moment to like fix it. And I was like, whatever, it's like so dark anyway, you can't really tell. So I just left it. On Saturday, I put down a half box at the top with a gold foil heart sticker from White Deer Stationery, and then I used my uh, Pilot brush lettering pen to write that it was my boyfriend's birthday. And then um, the record sticker I put down is from Love Shira, and for his birthday, what he wanted for lunch was ramen, so we went and got that. Um, I put down a full box with a half box that was from my collection over it so I could write on it, and that noodle sticker is from A Happy Blue Tree. I then scooted to the bottom and started again from the bottom because sometimes it's just easier for me to visualize space that way. And um, I used a quarter box at the bottom, then a half box. And in the remaining white space, I used a grocery icon from Sparkly Studio to mark that we had to buy all our party supplies because we we're hosting his birthday party that night. And we just invited some friends over for some food and drinks and games, um, which turned out to be super fun. So we definitely had to get the house ready and everything. I marked his birthday party on the half box and used a beer sticker from Hazel sticker and then at the bottom on that quarter box I put down a laughing emoji from the coffee monsters code to mark that I totally passed out before the end of the night because I may or may not have had a little too much to drink and um, yeah that was kind of it for me um, on Sunday I started by using a glitter header with a full box um, I put down a Coffee Monsters Co. Sleepy Emoji with a Sleep In sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I definitely slept in on Sunday morning. And then I had some tacos for breakfast, so I used a taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that. We then relaxed for a bit and then got some boba, so I put down a flag from the kit as a background. And that large boba sticker I think is from Echo Hui Craft Co. I used a quarter box underneath that with another gold foiled um, TV icon from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we watch TV. And then we had pho for dinner that night. So I used a pho sticker from Hazel Sticker. 
On the half box at the end of the day, I put down a TV sticker from Brandy's shop to mark that we binged more on Netflix that night. And Sunday was definitely just like a chill recovery day. We pretty much didn't do anything except like eat and watch TV and drink boba. So pretty much a perfect day if you ask me. But anyways, um, once I'm done with that, I move back to my sidebar and I fill in um, or I track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left and doing a quick viv wiggle to show you all of the foiling that's um, in the spread. That is it for this week, and I really, really love how this turned out. I think it's so perfect for my boyfriend's birthday week, and even though, unfortunately, I did get hit by the car, everything turned out to be okay, and it was just kind of a funny experience to talk about in hindsight. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Just leave them down below, and thanks for watching as always, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.